Hello guys, welcome, it's CMV Warrior here with another um, video, this is actually a toy review um, of the Star Wars um, Star Destroyer vs. Mon Calamari uh, Cruiser, um, as you can see there. Um, bit of the box art actually, so the reason why I'm doing this uh, because, well, it's currently this December, uh, let's see, uh, it's December something, <laughs> I don't even know, um, but I've been waiting all week for this to come in the mail, um, and it just did today, um, as you can see, now, some other this set now this currently is not available in stores as it's coming it's being released in 2016 um, with a few exceptions like Target you can get it off the of Target but I'm sorry I'm still kind of adjusting this but I got it off of Amazon um, so yeah very anxious to get this set because of course it's Infamous, you know, the Star Destroyer and everything. So I'm interested to see because with these uh, Hot Wheels uh, sets, um, you know, they're really good actually. So a bit of box art right there. The box art is awesome. Um, so let's stop looking at the box and let's get open these amazing things. So I will be doing some more... Uh, Reviews. Of course, they won't be unboxings, usually. Um, unboxings will be kind of rare on my channel. I'll be showing stuff that I already have. I'm doing it, just ripping up this thing apart. Really do package these things really good. Alright. So you can get another a better look at the box art, you know, the Star Destroyer. And that's the Mon Cal. Let's open these up. Jeez, they do not want you to take these out. And frankly, I wouldn't want people to take these out either. Got that after just destroying these boxes. So here's a little flight navigators here. Um, these things are actually pretty cool. Um, they also seem very big. Let me see. They're the same size. Yeah, same size. So. Yeah, so there we go. Doubles as a stand and as well as a, you know, a flight navigator as they're called. So a lot of you people who went to, and be very careful with this. Yeah, the Mon Cal. So a lot of you people who went to Toy Fair, uh, New York 2015, probably saw these if you stopped by the uh, Hot Wheels section. You would have seen these, um, or you would have saw these, uh, you know, English right here. You would have saw these because they actually did have these, but the Imperial Star Destroyer, they did not have out of the box. They did, however, have the Mon Calamari. Um, it resembles the home one, by the way. It could be the home one. Maybe it is. Um, you know, some just... Especially got some really cool textures at the bottom of that. You can't even see it. Really has some really good textures at the bottom of it. Kind of got to, you know, keep... Let's put this... Really, uh... Good 
textures. So I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there we go. You can see how it kind of has rough textures. So the whole, even the underside of it is textured, which is awesome. Um, so, yeah. Now, this is kind of confusing to see, you know, which way it goes. But, Star Destroyer right here, and Mine Calamari right here. Now, one thing you want to note about the Mine Calamari ships is that it looks a lot like it could, like, you know, go underwater. And that's because it was an underwater uh, civilization. Um, so, that's interesting to note how they advanced enough to become the Rebel Alliance's... Uh, Fleet maker. So that's yeah. And here is the infamous Imperial Star Destroyer. Don <laughs> Yeah. Um really cool actually. I really like this. One thing though, um is it yeah, it has a rubber tip. Rubber tip. I don't like that. Actually. And I get. I do get why it's there. Because you don't. You know. Don't want a kid poking their eye out. But seriously. That just kind of ruined it for me. So. So yeah. I really do dislike when. um, You know. Companies make. It kind of and it's not really rubber. It's like rubbery. Pla it's like a hard rubber, like ish. It's weird. But now to the comparisons. Um, this is the the size comparisons. Anyway, um, to any of you who have the X Wing versions or the Tie Fighter, yeah, there's a big difference. Really big difference. Let me get these things on stands. Um, there will be a review up on these two items soon so yeah <laughs> this is the tie fighter um, and um, oh my gosh <clears throat> that's the tie fighter this is the x wing no i'm not new to star wars <laughs> yes that was a very bad mistake. I was, it was just because I was holding the TIE Fighter and I was looking at the TIE Fighter and I put the X-Wing down and and as I was putting the X-Wing down, yeah, I said TIE Fighter. So, this is the size comparison. But the TIE Fighter and it, yeah. In a world where the TIE Fighter is bigger than the Star Destroyer, that's kind of bad. But, you know, I'm sorry, this is so hard. I guess we could, like, kind of, yeah. I'm kind of using a Samsung tablet right now, so it's a better camera. It's the best camera I have. Um, so, yeah, the Mon Calamari. Let's start really with the Mon Calamari. Um, but this here, how much time do we have? We have, we have a couple of minutes. We have more than a couple. But let's start with the Mon Calamari. The Mon Calamari is a really sleek looking ship. I do like the ship, but there's some things about it that I don't like, believe it or not. <laughs> so one of the things I don't like about it is that it's just, it's not as, you know, compared to the heaviness of the Star Story, which is very back heavy, by the way. It's not really that as heavy as this. Now, another thing I'm gonna note is that their star, that the time, um, star destroyer seems to have a position of of, of kind of upwardness. This one doesn't. The Mon Calamari has like a gradually going up. And that's partly because Mon Calamari is you know just flat. But let me see if I can get this out of here gently. Jeez, it actually fits in there very good. But the Mon Calamari, I just don't like, it's not against the, the toy itself. The toy itself is really good. I mean, I really love the, the imprinted spaces on here. But, uh, 
it kind of does seem like some of it rubbed off. I don't know if that's supposed to uh, look like that or not. Yeah, that's not good. Some of it has kind of... Yeah, it's hard to tell. Is it? I think some of it has rubbed off a bit. Um, yeah, some of it has already rubbed off quite a bit. Um, in fact, it's not already rubbed off. It came like that. If you could see, you know... Yeah, that white space. So that's kind of a problem because, and I'm guessing because their printers, when they're printing this, they have to print that on there and sometimes their printers make mistakes, especially when they're printing on the surface like this. So that's not really a big issue. Um, definitely something to watch out for though in the stores. Um, you know, watch out for these mon cows having like little print defects, but not much. Um, to a kid, you give this to a kid, um, they're going to love it. Um, i enjoy this one just looking at it and stuff and it's set up um it's a, a cruiser it's star wars what's not to love about it um but yes like i said it has a very detailed like it's even the bottom of it is detailed and it looks like a boat in the sky but you know um that sort of goodness let's get to the star destroyer star destroyer everybody you don't even have to watch the movies to know what this is when you see it like i said earlier i do not like how the star destroyer has this kind of you know rubbery rubber-esque you know kind of thing going on uh it's kind of it's not cheap but it's kind of like making people pay for people who don't look at age uh references does this have an age reference on it uh yeah four and up you can see it right there, and my mind cow just fell. But you can see clearly at four and up. But how many people are going to listen to that? Zero. So. Very good. Now, if you're a collector, like, oh my gosh. I'm going to get you out of the way before you get totally annihilated. It's the force. <laughs> yes. This, uh... Very aerodynamic. I'm mean, surprised, actually, because it's surprisingly straight. Surprisingly. You may have to, like, make minor adjustments if you're, like, a collector and you're really into that kind of stuff to make it perfect. But, no, it's not overly, uh, you know, something to worry about. Paint job. That's another thing. Paint job on the mine calamari is, like I said, some of it's not there. Some of it is not there, and that's because of the printing process, and I don't, this, this is going to happen sometimes. The printing process is going to mess up, and that's why it has this look to it. That's why most of the parts are whitish. You, you can kind of see, I mean, it is detailed, really detailed, really detailed nicely. They really capture it, but, and it's not something you're really going to notice unless you look, compare it, but... It does kind of stick out a bit. But, um, yeah. Really neat paint job on both of these. Um, size comparison, like I showed you with the uh, X Wings. You know. Right. But the paint job, the detail, detailing. Yes. All of those little ridges that you see are actually raised ridges. Every single detail. Even the little turrets you can see there are there. They even include a little bay, like I said, and especially in this one. That's what I like about the Star Destroyers. There's a lot more to put on the bottom of it, and it just looks amazing. A lot of people will have fun recreating the, the scene and the New Hope um, with the Star Destroyer. Um, all you really have to do is get a really small, um, oh, I forgot what they were called. Oh, gosh. Forgive me, I forgot what they were called. But the one of those, the mini, 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 really small ones, and just have it, and then you just, you know, um, yeah. But the size of them is actually very, 
very small, very small size indeed. Um, these are the X wings. Um, and you know the X wing, the Tie Fighter. Uh, that's that. Let's take. Do I have a? a yes, I do have like. Yeah, Hot Wheels car. This is a Hot Wheels, you know, Porsche. You know, relative size of a Hot Wheels car, you know. Yeah. So, 